welcome to TESS Online 2020. My name is Lutfi Adala and I am one of your co-hosts. Good morning. I'm Daniel Rukima and I'm your other co-host. Many of the events that we attend currently start with a land acknowledgement. What we rarely understand or appreciate is what it truly means. A land acknowledgement is so much more than recognizing the treaty territory of the local First Nations. It speaks to relationships. In the spirit of truth and reconciliation, I've been asked to conduct this land acknowledgement with you. These words that I'm sharing with you today have been gifted to me to share with you by a First Nations knowledge keeper. In the Anishinaabe worldview, they have a saying, all my relations. And when we say these words, we're both acknowledging with gratitude and honoring these relationships. Creator Miigwech, thank you for this beautiful gift of today. We acknowledge that we are on the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit, while also acknowledging that many other First Nations have lived on this territory. We humbly acknowledge all of their journeys. We acknowledge the original nations of the plants and the trees. We acknowledge the original nations of the four-legged, the fins, the feathered, and the crawlers. We acknowledge all of these and their interconnection with each other. We acknowledge the gift of water. Water is medicine. Water is life. Water is sacred. And in doing so, we acknowledge the carriers of these teachings, the women. We acknowledge the grandfathers, rocks as we call them. We acknowledge the history of Mother Earth that they carry, as well as the history of the great mystery. We acknowledge Father Son, that which gives life in cooperation with Mother Earth. We acknowledge Grandmother Moon, who cleanses Mother Earth and reminds us of the importance of balance. We acknowledge the winds that come from the four directions. For all of this, Creator, we give thanks. Miigwech, Creator, for this opportunity to come together in a good way with good minds and good hearts. Miigwech for this opportunity to learn. Miigwech for this opportunity to reach our full potential together. Miigwech, 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 Miigwech. A special thank you to Stephen Paquette. He walks a good life, who is a member of the Board of Governors of Sheridan College and the Halton District School Board's former Indigenous Knowledge Guide. Thank you for gifting us with these teachings. With your lead, we read them, breathe them, and understand them with our heart, not just our mind and words. We've assembled for eCampus Ontario's sixth annual technology and education seminar and showcase, TESS Online 2020. In many respects, this event builds on previous years that have allowed us to come together as a community to discuss, celebrate, and advance technological innovation and collaboration in our colleges, universities, and Indigenous institutes. This year is also very different because of COVID-19. Not only have our lives changed as we work and learn from home, we are also finding ourselves as leaders in this new world that has seen a dramatic acceleration of digital learning. We are also mindful to those of you who have been directly affected by COVID-19. You, your families and friends are in our thoughts. As you know, our theme this year is humanizing learning, inspired action and impact. And this year's conference brings together some of Ontario's best who will be presenting on emerging technologies, learned leadership, research and data-driven decision-making, and empathy and engagement. We're looking forward to sharing with you almost two dozen sessions from your peers, two amazing keynote speakers, four fireside chat interviews, and much more. In a valiant effort to prevent information overload though, we've incorporated entertainment throughout the three days. Some of Toronto's best artists, many of them students at your colleges and universities, will perform. So be sure to tune in. Humanizing learning has been at the core of planning for TESS 2020. Now more than ever, teaching and learning online, building communities, and collaborating with students to build solutions is vital. Each one of the tracks applies a different lens to humanizing learning and helps us to uncover how we can better serve our students. 
While many of these sessions have been pre-recorded to ensure more effective delivery of the conference, we have built in considerable opportunities for you to engage with each other, presenters, and us. We have an online community on the website and recommend you reach out to other attendees. We have a hospitality suite sponsored and hosted by Voice Ed Radio, where you can virtually interact with each other, listen to interviews, and see some great entertainment. Many of our sessions have a Q&A period built in, so please be sure to load up on your curiosity and ask the questions you want answered. Now, throughout the next three days, you will have the opportunity to hear from Ontario's educators, learn from each other, and grow. We encourage you to pause, reflect, and see how you can implement what you've learned and take action. After all, that's where the magic happens. It's time to connect, empathize with, and incorporate learners' needs. Let's all come together to elevate the education experience for students. We want you to have a positive experience. If at any time you need assistance while navigating tests, reach out to us at tess svat at ecampusontario.ca. We have team members available who are here to help you. Let's come together and learn from each other and have some fun.